Hi everyone. Now let us look at the implementation of the merge function. So what I'm getting, I'm getting two linked lists. The first head is A, the second head is B. So let us say this linked list is 1, 5, 7, 10. And this linked list is 2, 3, 6. So what we are going to do, we are going to check which one is smaller. Okay. So let's say, uh, let's also have a base case. And let's also have a recursive case. Okay. So in the base case, we can check if A is null, that means one linked list is empty, then simply the output would be the other linked list. Okay. Or we can check if B is null, then the output would be the other linked list that is A. So that's a very simple base case. In the recursive case, I said, we will create a new pointer node star C. This is a temporary head pointer. It will be created in every recursive call. Okay. So we can say this will point to something which is smaller. So we don't know yet where it is going to point to. So we can check actually if uh, a dot a arrow data is less than b arrow data, then what I can say, I can say c will point to a. Okay. So c is a pointer that is pointing to a like this. And the next of c that is the next of this particular node will point to an output that will come from a recursive call. So we will make a recursive call here. So that's pretty simple. So we can say C arrow next will point to something that is merge of A arrow next and B. Otherwise, if B is smaller, okay, if uh, the data two is smaller, then we can say C will point to B and C arrow next will point to merge of A comma B arrow next. Okay. So exactly complementary case. And from here we will return C. Now you may ask, okay, uh, this makes sense that C, C will work fine here and how this function will get solved. So it is going to get solved recursively. So here we will have this A, this B and again between two and five, which is smaller. So we create another C in this recursive call. Okay. So in the first recursive call, C is pointing to one. In the, the next recursive call, we have a local variable. Okay. So this C is going to point to two in the another call. This C is going to point to three. And when you are coming back, when you're coming back from the recursive calls after the calls are over, this link is getting established. So basically one is pointing to two, two is pointing to three, three is pointing to five and so on. Okay. So we are making this link and every time from uh, three, we return. Okay. The, the, head of the new link list is three. So two, two is now pointing to three from two we return. Okay. The head of this link list is this particular C that is two. So one comes to know that, okay, this C arrow next should point to this C, which is coming from a recursive call. Okay. So from every uh, call we are returning the head. So C is a head pointer. And now you may ask about what is the uh, time and the space complexity. So time complexity is order of, uh, number of nodes in a plus number of nodes in uh, B. So let's say N and M are the nodes. And what about the space? We are making a recursive call that is this much deep that is equal to the length of sum of both linked lists. So it is also order of N, N, N plus M because we are using a recursive function and in each call also we are making a temporary pointer. So this occupies some memory. So although this takes a order one memory, but we have a call stack of depth order of n plus m. So we can simply uh, create this variable and now you can see it is going to work fine. And I've used very simple variables a, b and c, but you can give a better naming also uh, head one, head two, and the final head, something like that. This is also fine. Okay. So let's see, let's try to run this code now. So I can say finally, uh, whatever head we get node star head that is equal to merge of a comma B and we can say print link list and I say head. Okay. Minor change here. Okay. So this is how we call the insert method and now let us test our code. So you can see we have these two link lists and we are merging them and let me show it to you. If I do dot slash link list and you can see the output is a sorted link list. 
so this is how we merge two sorted linked lists that's all for this lecture thank you